guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a project update for the whole collection project plan that I'm doing with a bunch of lovely ladies here on YouTube and Instagram. And they will be of course linked down below. We are randomizing our whole collection and picking 10 random products to work on. We set goals on them either to finish a pan, use it gold, whatever you want to do. I wouldn't say I have amazing progress, but I do have a little bit. So I will just show you quickly those because that's not a lot. <laughs> My three lip products in this pretty pen I have used, but there is no progress. I don't know if I have used this. It lives in my purse that I go to work with and out and about. I used it only a few times, but there is no progress. This is my MAC Brave Satin Lipstick. Love this one, but unfortunately I'm not very good at touching up at the moment. I have used Apollo the Metallic Mattes a few times. It is the orange lipstick. This will be amazing for the summertime, but not right now. <laughs> Apparently I haven't felt like wearing a bright orange lipstick. I have from the same line, Metallic Mattes from W7, the SOS, and this is a coppery brown lipstick. I have had it in a f my past two videos, Pen and Everything and My Empties. I wore this and another lipstick together, and I really like that look actually. And I do think I have worn these two together as well, not quite sure. But yes, I have used these a lot more than my MAC Brave, but there are no progress on the lines. These are the lines, so you can kind of see my progress there, but no for this update. This one I have used a lot and I am wearing it today with a eyeshadow in my brows. It is the W7 Brow Sweep Grooming Crayon. This is all I have left of this. It's quite exciting actually to see it this small. And I didn't expect to have this much progress, but I do. And I'm quite excited about it. It is the last one right here, so that is my progress for this month. I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, in like two months this will be done and it will be time for a refresh in this project anyway. But yeah, I'm really excited to almost have this done. I haven't used my W7 Metal to the Metal Duo Chroma Liquid Liner in Stay Mary Golden. Yeah, I have used my W7 Matte Beat Blush in El Toro a few times. The lid is still broken. I'm really annoyed about that. But I don't know if you can see any progress, but I have worn it a few times here and there when I didn't feel like um, like an orange cheek or anything. I have worn this. It is a little bit too dark for me right now in the springtime, or for my liking at least. Um, I do have the same skin tone as I did when this started. This is getting a little bit too dark, I think, but... I am wearing it when I want a more neutral cheek and not bright coal or orange. Last time I rolled in my Honolulu Bronzer by W7. I've used it a few times, only a few times, because I am working on the other bronzer in my 2020. Yeah, I have used it a few times just to say that I have used it, but I don't think you can see any progress. Maybe you can, because I have worn a swatch away, but that is basically just what I have been doing. Then we have my Blush Tribe Paulina palette and I am working on the shade Friends, which is this one. As you can see, I have a dip going. So I don't think there's a long way to go to hit pan. I hope I can hit pan before the refresh, at least in two months. And then we have my Rimmel London Lasting Finish Nude Foundation in Ivory. This one right here. I have been mixing it, but until recently my mixer ran out and I have been lazy, uh, lazy and I haven't bought a new mixer or anything like that. So I'm just wearing it on its own and I hopefully can get some more, more colors soon. But I don't think it is totally off because I try to bronze the rest of my body. This is my progress for the last month. And I think that is pretty exciting. I'm checking away at this and it will be done this year for sure. And now that I'm only using this, it will go faster. The last thing that I am 
going to show you here to the last is my Dove 7 Flawless Face Loose Powder. This one right here. There's not a lot of powder left in this. Not even the whole layer of this. And not even that. Just holding on to the edges in the product. And I do have a little bit in this separate container. Because it's just a hassle to get out. So I try to shake some of it out into this container every now and then. But I have seen Alex from a beauty guru. No, she's not called that anymore. Alex. I don't know how to pronounce your name in Spanish. Alejandra? I don't know. She had the Maybelline Loose Fit Me Powder and she could remove a large piece of its bag to get down to the product. You can't remove the shifter. It is one big plastic thing. So I saw that on mine there are these circles. You can see them through the sticker. I will see if I can get through that sticker and pull those circles out to move, move the product like that and then mix it into this container because I'm so annoyed at this and it takes forever and a day to apply in the morning time so when I don't have any product in this container I'm not using it before I have the time to shake it really well to get product out of this so I will try to see if I can remove these by next update and maybe even finish this product by next update that will be Really exciting. Yeah, then I don't have any loose powders left in my collection, I just realized. At least not face powders. I have loose highlighters. Of course I do. I hope you guys enjoyed this update and this series overall. If you want to see more of this whole collection project pan, I will recommend you checking out the playlist that we have down below for everyone in this collab. I really really enjoy it and I love the ladies and I love to watch this project pan. It is such mu so much fun. I hope you guys enjoy it and until my next one, please take care. Bye.